Many projects, especially 2D projects, use sprites to create its visuals. These potentially contain many textures assets and may thus require many draw calls. To optimize this, we can use Sprite Atlas. A Sprite Atlas packs several sprites into a single combined texture. These are the different sprites I have in this project. And these sprites are only in the weapon category. We can click on any sprite to view in the preview window. Or we can double click on it to view in the image viewer. And this sprite is 4x. Now I will be showing you the sprite atlas folder. And there we have sprite atlas for each category. And this is only for weapons and we have combined all the weapon sprites into this sprite atlas. And these are with the extension dot sprite atlas. And further in the inspector panel we can see more detail of it. And these are the list of objects for packing. Basically all the sprites that are combined into this texture. Resizing the preview window to have a better look. Let's take a look at another sprite atlas. So next is sprite UI battle. As its name suggests, it has the sprites that are related to battles. And next is for environment or the level design. And these are the several other sprite atlases that are used in this game. To make most of the 2D projects, we require to use hundreds of 2D sprites. And that's why to optimize it, we use sprite atlases. Let's have a look at this amazing 2D project. Everything you see in this project are 2D assets. It will give you a rough idea of 2D game and, and how many different sprites are worked together to make this experience. The use of lights are amazing in this project. And I'm sure you must be identifying different weapon sprites that I have showed you. And this is very nice running animation using the sprites. And next it will be loading a data from the UI battle sprite atlas. The gameplay is very simple. They will fight with each other and the survival team will win. The left side we have our players and once their energy circle get filled, I can click on it to make a bigger impact. This one is ready clicking on the witch. Now let's take a look how we can create a sprite atlas. Open the asset menu and go to create and then 2D and then at the last sprite atlas. Enter the name of the sprite atlas. I'm making four buttons. So writing the buttons. So here we have our brand new sprite atlas. Locking the inspector window to keep it while I selecting the sprites. And I want to pack these four sprites. Dragging and dropping it over object for packing. We can preview by clicking on pack preview. Resizing the window to have a clear look. We can delete the individual sprite by selecting it and clicking on this minus sign. Click pack preview to update the preview. Now we have three sprites. If we have few sprites, we can also reduce the texture size. If you're going to select to lower size, it will give you a packing error. And in this case, it's giving us error and also suggesting it needs at least 512. So selecting a 512, pack preview. By this, we have cut the extra space on the atlas. And also the atlas size is reduced to 256 kilobytes. And before this, it was a half megabytes. And the regarding sprite, few more tips. Adding sprites into the object for packing list and enable include in the build to include your sprite with your project. Use the packing option to determine how closely the sprites can be laid out in the atlas and whether they can be rotated. Once the texture are consolidated, Unity can issue a single draw call to access the packed texture with a smaller performance overhead. A sprite atlas can reduce the draw calls if you organize the UI layout correctly. Unity scans the game object hierarchy top to bottom in order to batch objects that use the same texture and materials. The Sprite Atlas API provides additional controls at runtime. You can also create a variant Sprite Atlas or prepare the Sprite Atlas for an alternate form of distribution with late binding in a script.
I hope this video helps you. If you have any question, you can always ask me. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next.